Hi, this is Jerry3904, and I'm here to present a new video on the beta release of the MX Raspberry Pi Respin called Ragu 2. It's a five minute introduction only, we'll do more later. And a really critical thing, the user, default user is Pi, and the password for that is also Pi. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering how to get a hold of this, the information will all be in the blog that will be posted tonight by the time you see the video. The easiest way to see that blog is to go to MX Linux homepage, mxlinux.org, and check the news section that's circled on this screen. You'll see it listed there. Okay, here we are. We're looking at the default desktop. This is Fluxbox as it was designed for MX21 Fluxbox. It has many of those elements, even though we're still running the Raspberry Pi on, uh, on uh, Debian 10 Buster for, for a variety of reasons. I'm um, just going to look at the differences between this version and last year's version because last year's version I covered extensively in my YouTube channel. You'll see a couple of videos down at the bottom on Raspberry Pi. So if you have further questions, then I urge you to go there. So the first thing that's very, very different is the settings manager. Uh, you can use the wrench or I'll just use the icon. The settings manager, which is brand new and is modeled on MX tools, it's a dashboard with handy uh, common settings that we need. It includes, for instance, the common Raspberry Pi settings here that are pretty helpful to have at a single click. Um, and you can explore that. It's good. I'm going to click on the Tint2 Manager to show you uh, something. Tint2 Manager we developed for MX21. It, it gives, it allows us to manage the uh, Tint2 panel that we're seeing at the bottom. So the, the checked ones are ones that we have enabled and I'm going to uncheck those and point out that we have two touchscreen, specifically touchscreen, a dock and a Tint2 uh, panel. And those two um, are specifically for touchscreen. There's a lot of features uh, we'll go into later. I'm not going to do it now. But those, if you're going to do touchscreen, I recommend that you uh, take a look and use those. Let me close this. Um, third, let's look at the desktop links um, setup. This, will give, this gives us uh, a document. This is in English, this one, of your very first steps, how to do some basic configuration, including clicking on that uh, Raspberry icon in the dock to set things like password and other things, and how to deal with sound problems, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It's only a five-page document, so if you totally feel cold, then that'd be a good thing to uh, take a look at. That's in English, but our help documents are, are, include a variety of translations. I, I may automate this later, but right now it's manual. So here are the first steps in various translations. And then here is the full documentation. I'm just going to open that up so that you can see what's in there. So this is the full documentation. It includes a whole dedicated section on the touch screen, the default configs for Fluxbox and Openbox, how to, de how to use a traditional Fluxbox config if you want to, and then a whole set of super useful links. And when you want a little bit more information, this really should be your second resource. Uh, we, we have incorporated finally a whole bunch of features from uh, MX21 Fluxbox, although we're still on uh, we're still on Debian uh, 10, Debian Buster. Um, but the this screen is the default screen; it's a gorgeous screen. Uh, you can easily change it, uh, right-clicking, appearance, wallpaper, and select something else. Um, um, but it's it's really unusual and really gorgeous. And uh, that includes the way, let me pop open, that includes the way uh, the windows are treated. This is a window treatment called MX Comfort that we developed. It also comes in a dark version, is, which is really nice, but I won't, you know, you can fit, see it yourself, you, same place, appearance, style, and there's MX Comfort, and you can do MX Comfort Dark or any one of the others that are here by. Oh, didn't mean to do that, actually. 
Uh, so um, that's really all I want to say about this. All the rest is in the old videos or the documentation. So let's switch over to, uh, let's switch vin window managers over to Openbox. I can't show you this, but I'm going to, I'm going to log out uh, and I'm going to look up at the center of the top of the bar across the top where the session manager is located, click on it and select Openbox and, and, um, and click it. Bye. <laughs> okay, we're now over on the open box side of uh, this new respin, and it's very exciting because we've never had an open box in use in, in MX at all. And you start in the upper left hand corner, you see the same three icons that we had before. I'm going to get rid of them by opening up the root menu out of sight desktop icons so I don't have to look at them. Uh, this is a very cool user. Uh, created desk wallpaper that we use cleverly has the MX inside as the filament for the light bulb. Up in the right hand corner uh, this is uh, this is known this is a, a system monitor it's called GCREL M it was highly developed in the first decade of this century it's very very cool works extremely well I think it's perfect myself I think it's perfect for open box but you can get it out of sight again if, if the focus is on it then you can just do alt F4 but more useful like I just did or you can right click this top bar to get the basic menu of configuration theme and to quit and I'll just get I'll quit that but by all means explore what that can do there are three menus on this and on the other side for that matter uh, the root menu I've already showed you uh, and there are two other menus inside the root menu one is called all apps this is Rofi uh, and it's a very very quick very useful little app you just begin to put uh, something in there of course it's got to be English simple well try it again so just begin to type it and there's the screen recorder that I'm actually using right now and the second one is the XFCE4 app finder uh, uh, menu which I don't use all the time but is very handy in some contexts, and so I keep it on you can uninstall those of course anytime you want there also if I middle click the desktop there also is the, the standard window menu um, that shows up and that's useful okay down below here this at the bottom this is the sys tray um, the, from left to right and you know what those are on the right end is the is MX updater that changes color when there's uh, applications to be to be installed or updated and um, it is actually a dock and so you have basic manipulation just by looking at the open box configuration manager and there you'll see dock and now this is this is this is the dock that it's talking about so you can position it you can orient it you can design and you can hide it off screen if you want I often have it set to auto hide just by clicking that when you want so that's how you deal with that sys tray uh, there's more in the documentation and finally there's a set of uh, a, a set of uh, shortcuts that are common to uh, common to both Fluxbox and, uh, and, and, and Openbox there's a conky that lays them out handily you just open up something called you know Fluxbox shortcuts and here are the shortcuts um, it's a handy way to learn it these are nice shortcuts I use a lot of them like control alt delete which takes me out of the system exits from the system without hitting anything so that's how you get to that uh, and that's about it I think you know you you'll play around I just wanted to get you started and I hope that you will uh, I hope that you will um, dive in